GIK Acoustics presents Positioning the Listening Spot. This video will examine whether to face the long wall or the short wall in a listening room. If there's one issue we've seen more than others when it comes to orienting the listening spot in a room, it's that people mistakenly face the long wall rather than the short wall. We're going to examine each setup and show why facing the short wall is the better option. So why do we recommend facing the short wall? The answer can get rather complex, but in short, when facing the long wall, the low end frequency can show much deeper nulls and higher peaks throughout, which will skew clarity. The tests you're seeing now were executed in the GIK Acoustics testing room. The room dimensions are 17 feet by 13 feet by 8 feet. This is the frequency response when orienting the listening position to face the long wall. As you can see, when tested, facing the long wall produced the highest peak to the lower dip of 30 dB. This is the frequency response when orienting the listening position to face the short wall. As you can see, the frequency response has improved from 30 dB and is now closer to 16 dB from the highest peak and to the lowest dip. Note that even with the best orientation in a room, you will still have nulls and peaks with long decay times, which can be resolved with bass traps. However, you're better off to start with the correct orientation and treat your room from there. 